Hello everyone and welcome to the Inside NDU podcast, an exclusive look into what happens behind the scenes here at NDU. If students are known to be the beating heart in any university, then student clubs must definitely be the chambers that sustain this heart. Through other previous years, NDU students have exemplified this notion, displaying the highest level of professionalism and dedication. Their efforts, bolstered by the support of faculty members, have carried NDU's name to international platforms. With us today are two exceptional students to discuss the achievements of the AICHE club. Joining us now is Joey Abirze, the president of the AICHE club here at NDU. Welcome, Joey. Hello, Fadi, and thank you for having us today, and thank you for giving us this opportunity to represent the AICHE. Of course, anytime, Joey. Uh, to start with a global question, could you please give us a glimpse into the AICHE club? Okay, so first of all, AICHE stands for the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. Uh, here at NDU, it's our local chapter. Uh, and it all started in 2019 when we got accredited from AICHE. And uh, from that uh, moment, we started working more and more until we reached uh, all our goals and uh, we made so many achievements do, uh, during these years. It's great to hear, Joey. Uh, moving to a more personal question, what motivated you to lead AICHE Club? Uh, AICHE, or becoming the uh, AICHE uh, president here at NDU, was a uh, dream. So uh, it all started when we came back from the uh, COVID and uh, came back to uh, on-campus life. And uh, I wanted to be more involved in the student life. And AICHE was the opportunity uh, that I should uh, take. And uh, when I chose AICHE, I didn't expect that I would love the work uh, that I will do. Uh, I started as an event planner at AICHE and DU, and then uh, I continued uh, for a second year to be the treasurer and achieved uh, the, the goal of being the president of AICHE. And I had a main motivation to be the president, which is seeing the happiness of everyone participating in the events, the satisfaction of every chemical engineering student and their uh, pride, uh, because their society is active and is achieving um, its goals. Well, that seems like a very easy task. Um, Joey, and you hosted the AICHE Middle East Regional Conference, SRC24. How do you prepare for such an event? It was really difficult. It was challenging uh, to organize this event. This event uh, was organized for the first time here in Lebanon. It was already organized in Saudi Arabia before, uh, but not in any other place in the Middle East. Uh, we hosted it here in NDU. Uh, it was one of the goals of AICHE NDU. Uh, since I started. When I was an event planner, the idea was present. And this year, we had the best circumstances as we had the chair of the AICHE Executive Student Committee, which is the body responsible of the Student Regional Conference from NDU. And uh, we also had many representatives in the AICHE ESC. Uh, and this helped us to apply uh, for the SRC24. And uh, when uh, we received the approval, the preparations started. We started working on how to uh, organize the event, uh, who will be the speakers, what workshops will we organize, and uh, who will we invite. Uh, and uh, it was a great success. As I'm sure it was, Joey. What was your personal highlight of this conference? My personal highlight was the uh, speech that I made in the end of the event. Uh, because I was able to uh, look in the eyes of every person present to see the satisfaction on their faces. And it was also an opportunity to thank every committee member and subcommittee member at AICHE and you. And uh, this was a very important moment uh, for me personally. That's great, Joey. As you conclude your tenure as the president of the AICHE chapter at NDU, which advice would you most want your, suc your successors to follow? It's not only an advice for my successors, but uh, a general advice. If you have a dream, uh, don't take it like a story uh, that you will tell to your friends. Your dream should be a goal. Set this goal, and you should look to achieve your goals. Uh, you should always work hard. Do not stop dreaming, but as I said, uh, your dream should be a goal. Thank you so much, Joey. Thank you. And now... Joining us is the Vice President of the AICHE Club, Maria Norasi. Welcome, Maria. Thank you for having us. 
Uh, Maria, let's start with a very um, personal question. As a former PR officer of the club, uh, what did you find most challenging in this position? Uh, being a PR officer, uh, what was challenging was like finding uh, industries and speakers to reach our goals. I wouldn't say that chemical engineering is a new major, but like uh, it is not very common. So uh, finding someone uh, for the workshops and seminars that we hold uh, in the technical part was a bit uh, challenging as a PR officer. On a personal level, which skills did your membership in the club help you develop? Uh, being a, m a member of the club as a vice president or any other member, uh, I would say first it was teamwork uh, and um, like being alongside with uh, Joey, it was more like uh, leadership and um, organizing the tasks, uh, trying to manage between uh, my studies, work and uh, leading the committee. Well. That's good. Um, in what ways do you believe the AICHE club stands out from other clubs at NDU? Uh, considering that our members are um, uh, very close, I would say that uh, it wasn't very hard to find like people uh, joining our events and uh, willing to help. Uh, we were always like a family and like committee members or even members in general are always involved in the events, uh, including uh, the big ones and trying to stand out from uh, with other universities, for example, in the SRC that was held here at NDU. In what ways did faculty members help you in achieving your agenda? Uh, notably Dr. Frale, we always found ourselves like not scared of uh, proposing ideas or uh, hosting uh, big events such as the one that was held at the end of this semester. Dr. Frale was always supporting us and uh, like never stopped us from even proposing uh, ideas that were a bit uh, creative, like for gatherings. We always tried to keep them creative, but with a glimpse of technical stuff to stay in the educational part. Even from all the faculty members, uh, we always found ourselves like supported by them. So moving to a question for non-members of the AICHE club, which benefits would they expect uh, to earn when they join the club? Uh, I would say uh, the seminars and uh, workshops are uh, very beneficial in terms of uh, networking or being exposed to recruiters and um, people in the industries. For example, in the last event that we had, the Student Regional Conference, all of the speakers were uh, well-known uh, recruiters and part of uh, important industries. So that opened a lot of opportunities for our members to be able to um, uh, network and get an opportunity for internships or even uh, future jobs. That's uh, pretty awesome. To conclude our segment, Maria, how would you describe the importance of the VP position in the AICHE club? Uh, mainly, it's, uh, the vice president position is uh, very versatile, which I found uh, very suitable. I helped uh, with uh, like PR, communicating, uh, even event planning, and helping uh, Joey, uh, like supporting him in uh, events or uh, anywhere that uh, needed to be uh, like an extra push. Well, you just redefined the concept of multitasking. Thank you so much, Maria, for your time. Thank you. AICHE is a clear example of the vital role students must and can not play in their campuses. As usual, we can all see that when given the chance to shine, and you students never fail to do so. As always, thanks for tuning into our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated when a new episode comes out. Thank you.